Hi guys, Steph here. What we've got for you today is a gorgeous pen. Can you tell what it is? Some of you may, some of you may not. Should we give you a clue? There we go. Can you tell what it is now? Yes, what we have for you is a Mont Blanc fountain pen or for you people that like to the you know to have the right pronunciation a Mont Blanc fountain pen but unfortunately with my accent it generally comes out Mont Blanc <laughs> <laughs> so what we've got is a Mont Blanc and as you'll see in a moment this particular model is the model number 22 it's a vintage fountain pen and these models um, are very good for the person who wants to start collecting Mont Blanc pens um, because they are quite inexpensive they're not expensive as some of the if you like the latest 149s etc now as we said this is a vintage model from the 1960s the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's around about 130 millimeters in uh, sorry not in diameter capped um, as you can see it's got a slight taper to the barrel and the cap and to the sort of widest area here the diameter is around about 11.5 millimeters in diameter as you can see it comes with sort of gold plated trim first of all you'll notice it has these sort of two cap bands if you like a slightly thicker one to the bottom and a slightly thinner one just above it now if I bring it up a little bit close and twirl it round for you you'll see that it reads Mont Blanc and then it has the number 22 so nice and easy pen to identify because it tells us on the cap band if we show you the clip to the top there a very plain and unassuming clip um, has a slight taper thins slightly to the end there but yeah quite a plain but a very attractive clip to the cap there and to the top of the clip there to the top sort of the band if you like it has made in Germany so nice and simple as a lot of people will know the Mont Blanc pens are made in Germany as you saw earlier to the top we've got the um, the snow peak symbol to the very top and that is complemented to the bottom of the to the bottom of the barrel there again the Mont Blanc snow peak symbol this pen as we'll show in a moment is a piston filler you can see there it's got this sort of blind cap if you like or twist filler to the end there which again we'll show in a moment but all in all a very nice pen as you can see in lovely condition we've given it a service etc um, absolutely lovely pen these pens have what they term as a slip cap it doesn't screw on or screw off so let's show you the pen and the cap together let's give it a few little twirls all in all are very nice pens in some cases I actually prefer these pens to the sort of the modern 146s 149s because they are quite an unassuming and plain fountain pen although saying that in my opinion they're a very attractive pen to the top of the barrel there you'll notice it's got this sort of blue ink view window and then just above it we've got a gold uh, sort of clutch clutch band if you like so that just above the ink view sort of area and if we show you the section you can see it's quite a long section and you'll see to the end there it's got this lovely what they term as a winged nib now if I bring it a little bit close there okay and give you a sideways view as well so as you can see the nib and the section very interesting incidentally the the nib itself um, you can't actually see it but because most of it is hidden underneath the section but it actually has Mont Blanc it also has the number 22 imprinted into the nib and then to the bottom of the nib it has 14 carat 
and the number 585 for gold. So it's a fully 14 karat gold nib. And again, it's this sort of semi hooded winged nib. In my opinion, again, lovely, lovely nib. There's the sideways view. And then if we turn it round for you there, you can see the feed underneath there. Again, nice and clean. Everything's been cleaned, so in lovely, lovely condition. As I say, a lovely pen. Nice pen to hold. I've got quite large hands. It feels nice and comfortable to hold. As we said earlier, this is a piston filler, which means what we do, we simply... So, well says he <laughs> is turn the piston knob at the end here and then if we show you the ink view there and we turn the piston in a moment we should see there we go you can see the piston inside moves all the way to the top and then if we twist it back again home there you go you can see the piston now retracts back into the barrel so okay yes i can hear you people already yes we'd like to see it writing okay then so let's bring on some ink let me sort of reach over here i've come a little bit unprepared so let's get some tissue so we dip the nib in the ink and what i'm going to do i'm got to turn the piston first of all so that the piston goes all the way to the bottom like so dip the nib in the ink and turn it and that'll do we only need a little bit it's only for a writing sample let's let's give the pen a wipe put the ink to one side and let's bring on some paper so let's see how the pen writes this is the first time i've actually tested it so you're seeing what i'm seeing so what we have is a <coughs> mont blanc and as we said this is the number 22 we're dating the pen from the 1960s so yes it's a vintage a vintage pen as you can see or as you may not see we'll show you in a moment it's writing with a fine line it's writing very nicely very smooth and as you can see by the figure of eights there's no variation in the line it's quite a stiff nib but very nice to write with nice and smooth so let's show you the writing sample as we said it's writing with a fine line writing very nicely lovely and smooth as you would expect from a pen from Mont Blanc lovely writer so there we have it let's pop the cap back on like so and there we have it the mont blanc number 22 vintage fountain pen from around about the 1960s in absolutely gorgeous condition in this black um i don't think this is what they term as the if you like precious resin i would say it's in this black plastic but all in all a nice quality made fountain pen and a nice quality made vintage Mont Blanc fountain pen a very nice pen and as I say these pens are ideal for the person that wants to buy a Mont Blanc um, at a decent price that can't afford the the expensive 146s 149s all in all a lovely pen to start your Mont Blanc collection so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always as much as I enjoy showing you people don't forget leave a comment below and also don't forget subscribe yes you nice and simple press the button and subscribe 
But for now, I'll just simply say bye-bye for now.